has been a window onto the larger world around us, and sometimes that window looks out on tragedy. The Yugoslav basketball team, like the nation it represented, drew strength from its differences. Serbs, Croats, Muslims winning championships for a united Yugoslavia. But the ancient hatred seething beneath the national surface finally boiled over, destroying the country, destroying the team. Sports Illustrated senior writer Alex Wolf of Hoop Dreams bring us that story. This is my Yugoslavian team when we were all together. This is a Serb. This is a guy from Vojvodina. Guy from Slovenia that played for Bosnia. Muslim. Me. This is a Croat Kukoc. This is a Bosnian Serb. This is a Serbian Serb. Montenegrin, Serb, Croat, Muslim, Serb. We were all like brothers. It's incredible. We really acted like big family. The refugees from Yugoslavia's 1987 World Junior Champions have come to Atlanta from around the world. The Bulls Tony Kukoc and the Celtics Dino Raja will play for Croatia. Vlade Divac will play for Yugoslavia, as will fellow Serb Sasha Djordjevic. Teo Alibegovic, a Bosnian Muslim from Slovenia, will be watching at home with coach Svetislav Pesic. Nine years ago, they were together. As teenagers, they twice stunned a favored American team to win the World Junior Championships, demonstrating the wonderful things that can happen when you take a group of Yugoslavs and hand them a ball. We are a talented nation for many sports. For many sports, we need a lot of guys. It's a dream in each other's houses when we were kids. They used to come over to my place, I used to come over to their place. And you always remember those days like happy days because you don't have a problem of wife and kids, you don't have a problem of uh, your car broke down because you don't have one. I think I was around 16 or 17 years old uh, when we first met each other and uh, from that time uh, almost every summer we were together. To prepare for the 87 Junior Worlds, Coach Pesic had his players run wind sprints up the Olympic ski jump near Sarajevo. He fostered togetherness by having competitors for starting positions on the team room together. So the guy you had to share the room with for three months of preparations. So I was in the room with Kukoc, Raja was in the room with Divac, and we became so close that you could not split us. We all wanted to, to have fun, <laughs> so we, we did all possible to, to have it, you know. We used to steal the tapes from the coaches and watch it all night long until 6 in the morning, like the NBA highlights or NBA games, all-star games. With uh, Magic Larry, after that Michael, uh, Isaiah. I just watch the TV, drinking, eating, you know, having fun. But also we, we, we did, you know, a very good job. We won the championship and after that it was a, I mean, unbelievable feeling. For the next four years, this generation of Yugoslavs dominated international basketball. We accomplished you know, everything. Junior European Championship, World Cup a uh, couple times, many senior European Championships. We had everything except the gold from Olympics. If one team can beat the dream team, it would be our team. We never got the chance. Civil war struck Yugoslavia in 1991. Bombs reduced that ski jump in Sarajevo to rubble. The conflict split the nation along ethnic lines, divided the team, and destroyed the player's dream. You cannot have the same relationship like you had before, you can. That's that's the way it is because a lot of people have been hurt by this war, badly hurt. We all were just lost lambs. We didn't know the truth. The same picture you see on Croatian TV and on Serbian TV with a different announce. It's hard once you see 19, 20 years old. Without the legs, without the arms, it's, it's, 
You don't think about basketball. Chips, the poison of the war spilled out onto the court. Djordjevic and Divac now played for Serbia and Yugoslavia. Kukoc and Raja played for independent Croatia. Yugoslavia won the title and Croatia came in third. Both teams qualified for the Olympics in a possible meeting in Atlanta, but the awards ceremony was a disaster. Unbelievable. The Croatians have walked off the podium. These players played together as a unit. And Croatia turns their backs on Yugoslavia in their golden moment. I was pissed off. They were not thinking with their heads. They were thinking with the heads of their politicians. They were insulting us, saying bad things about your family. Once they started with their... Uh... We were now. I, I understand that was a political thing and everything. It's fine. Uh, it's against my country, and I understand that. But it's all, it was also a personal thing against me. It hurt me a lot. If I have to do it again, I'll do it again. Dass diese Welt, diese Welt insgesamt verrückt geworden ist. One year later and thousands of miles away, the former teammates still can't escape the war. They expect for me to be, uh, to represent the Croatia. If somebody sees me with him, like, drink, having a good time, and I go back home, they will kill me. They said, it's not the right things to do to them. You just pushed not to do things you, you would like to do. Like being as close friend as you want to. Because what Tony said, back home, you are in deep trouble. Once we were together and uh, we had a great time, but that's a past for me. I gotta move on. To build one friendship, you need years and years. To break that friendship, you need just a second. And that's what happened to us. I have everything, you know. I have a nice life here. I have a great career. I have a wonderful marriage. I have two sons. I have everything that makes a people happy. But I'm not happy because of the situation in my country. When I this build cooker, there and when I jetzt über Krieg etwas sagen will, dann 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 ich fühle mich, weiß ich nicht, ich fühle mich enttäuscht, ich fühle mich traurig, was alles in, mit unserer Jugoslawien passiert. This was a, one of the biggest joys of our young lives. It's like first love. There is nothing you can forget about. One day I'm going to tell my kids, don't you ever hate someone because he's something. He's that nationality or that race. Yugoslavia with Slovenians, Croats, Serbs, Muslims, Bosnians, the Montenegrins, Macedonians. That was a very good country to live in. <laughs>